morning kids and welcome to another Life Lessons. Uh, I thought rather than doing a practical life lesson, I thought I'd do a life lesson which is more about parents and some of the tools that they use to um, survive really with kids and young people. And, uh, and I know for many of you, you're probably already thinking that you know everything already, uh, but I'm sure this would be helpful for you to understand some of these things. And one thing to know is with parents that they particularly, and teachers for that matter, they have a limited amount of energy and that energy can be um, uh, kind of used up by mid-morning mid, mid really, um, after all the following around and caring and looking after kids and tidying up from kids and um, and sometimes often lots of pointless questions that they ask. But um, there, is, there, are, there is a moment where the energy is so low, they only really have enough just to dig a big hole to bury their kids in, in love, of course, because that's really what often parents want to do. Um, but what they use is, and one of the things they use, is some language, some terminology. And I wanted to explain what that means. Now, many, you might know, you'd ask a parent a question, and they say no, and you would say why, which is every response, every parent loves that response. And what they would come out with is this, because I said so. Now, what they're saying is, I know this is what's right for you. I know you think you know better, but I don't have the energy to explain to you and to persuade you otherwise. So everything from now on, I'm just going to say because I said so. And, uh, and my experience of, of young people, it can be quite frustrating when you hear that. But what the lesson here is, is that sometimes people don't need to tell you everything or some things are just not understood. And there is this link with my spiritual principle. There are some things about God that you will never understand. And that's OK. You don't have to understand it. And one of those things is the nature of God himself, or what we might use the word Trinity. Uh, this free in one God is one God, three distinct persons, but yet one, not three separate entities, but one. And some might use water, has three states. It's not good enough. It doesn't explain God. An egg has three parts. It's not good enough. Um, won't explain anything. Some might use all sorts of pictures, but nothing is good enough because God cannot be explained. Um, there are things about God that we will never understand because God is bigger and, and more uh, outside of our even concept of an ability to understand. And that's because he's not a God that's been created. He is the creator. Every God that can be understood is one that has been created by man. And that's really important. When you look at other religions, you look at what people say about their gods, if it's understandable, it's probably because it's been created by man. So remember this, next pers time person says to you and a parent says to you, because I said so, just have a little think. Know there are some things that you might understand and that's okay. So there's my life lesson for today.